is a uh, video review of the AKG um, 371. The, the I, I've seen this kind of mentioned on the internet a little bit and people talking about it and, and I wanted to check it out and uh, see if it was what everyone was saying it was cracked up to be. So this headphone, 161, that's what I paid for it. I've heard some people saying they paid 140. Um, I, th I think that price might be a little high for these, but you know, that's one of those things you're gonna have to take into consideration. Um, so let's talk about the accessories and the box packaging, everything real quickly. So I've already unboxed it. Um, it comes with a pouch, just a drawstring closed pouch. Inside that pouch is a curly Q, um, extension cord for the headphone 3.5 it's not balanced um, there's also a 3.5 short cable that's used for like if you want to listen to it with an IEM or a DAP I'm sorry with an IEM if you want to listen to it with a DAP um, and both the cables uh, so it can comes with these two cables and then this third cable and the third cable is super long and it's just not co a coiled cable like this one is um, they, it comes with one adapter right here and the screws on and off and this fits on all of them. Um, yeah, there's a screw attachment for all of them. Uh, I, I did have it with the shorter cable, but I was listening to it here on my desktop and I kept yanking the thing and pulling this forward. So it's, it's a little too short, definitely for portable use. Uh, so that's great. It comes with those three cables. It's nice, you know, um, comes with a little warranty card inside of this bag here. Um, so dig that out. Comes a little warranty card, instruction card type thing. Tells you what you can do with it and whatnot. Um, they fold up like this so that it, uh, this wire can just snap off. It's a three pronged wire. Um, folds up like that, fits inside that little bag, nice and neat, nice, nice tiny installation. I, I am a little concerned, and I don't know how well you can see this. There's a little wire right here, I'm putting my finger behind it. That's the wire that comes out of the connector, you know, the one that wraps around from the other earphone and then connects down into the, the driver in there. Um, it's a little thin, very, very thin. It doesn't get any movement. This, this cup doesn't move, you know, it has a little play this way so it'll wobble and fit on your head. Let's see if you can see that. See, it'll move a little this way. There's a little bit of play there, but it does not twist at all. You have to turn this to make that twist. So I don't know if extended use, you know, moving this over the years, if that'll hold up well, but a little wire like that, I mean, I don't know. It just looks like it's one of those things that could could break, right? Could go bad. But uh, I shouldn't say it's going to go bad because I, I really don't know. Um, three prong snaps in here. So right away that tells you this can never be balanced. Not unless you somehow rewire it and put a different pin port on here because it's got three pins, right? A ground and two, two positive channels. So uh, right and left channel and ground. So it's just, you know, not balanced. The overall look, oh, so the, sorry, this is the box that it comes in. Nothing fancy there, simple. It did have these, which I kind of like this. Uh, these were covered on the ear cups to keep them from getting deformed while they're in the box. I kind of like that. I pulled a couple of lesser expensive headphones out of boxes and the, the foam on there is deformed and sometimes it goes away and sometimes it doesn't. But that's that's the box that comes in in that pouch. I'll just leave this out here. Um, I did a, a lot of listening with this headphone because, you know, a lot of the reviewers that I saw about this, they talked about how resolving it was and how good the mid-range was and, and the bass and everything. And, and uh, so it got me really interested. And then when I got it, I, man, it is so light. Um, I, I'm going to say that to date, this is the most comfortable headphone I've tried. My Shure headphones, those are, are also extremely comfortable, but, but these have a beat. These pads are just so supple and soft and they're not like leather or don't pretend to be. They're just, you know, uh, some type of man-made vinyl material or something. Um, and they do come off. I pulled one off and and actually it was a little bit tough to get back in. You can see the edge there a little bit. 
that it, it was hard to get that to go completely back in. So I don't recommend swapping these out, but you can, you can do it. Um, there's some screws that hold a plate on in there, but you don't really want to take those out. That won't make any difference in, in changing the pads. So pads are super comfortable. Um, very positive latching mechanism there for moving the cups up and down. Very light. In fact, I have a postal scale. Which is, we'll give this thing a quick weight here. Let's change it to, well, let's just change it to ounces because I don't think this thing. 9.4 ounces. We change it to grams. It's 266 grams. So this thing is ultra light, ultra light, um, which of course makes it very comfortable. Well, I mean, that's not the only reason. This headband up here, very soft and, and plush. I had no issues where I had to keep moving this around the top of my head. Um, it, I didn't have to move this around at all on the top of my head and it, it, uh, it stayed in place, didn't fall off. I could turn, no, no problems. It's got a good clamp force, not too tight. Uh, I, I literally had these on for like four or five hours. I was listening all day, just doing my job. Uh, I did a meeting with them on, listening to music. Um, I, I mean, they're for music. Look, they're 161 bucks for a wired set of headphones. They're not Bluetooth. So if we go into the sound, um, I can play some different things here. Uh, if I go to... Um, Amanda Martinez. Treble is very nice. Look, it's the the treble is very good. Um, not great, but it's good. Uh, one one reviewer I saw they talked about how resolving and incredible the treble was. I, I can't really say that. I the treble was good. It's it's a clear sounding headphone. I do feel like there's a little bit of a veil, and I've listened to it on on three different DAPs, uh, Shanling M6 Pro, M11 Pro, and uh, Sony WM1A, 1A? Yeah, the 1A, the, not the gold one. Um, as well as the ADI, uh, the, the Rupert Nev designs, um, and uh, internal stereo inside uh, Marantz. So I, there's a little bit of a veil on it. Not much, not, it, is, it is clear. As far as resolving goes, I, the only thing I really compared it against, because this is a closed back, was the Allegia, Focal Allegia, right? Um, I, this is a headphone I, I, I really enjoy and like a lot. The, this is very resolving, very resolving. And, and I know we can't, we're not comparing apples to apples, right? This is $161. I know some people have gotten it in the $140 range. Um, this right now, I think is $499. I think I paid like $550 for it. And originally it was like a, a seven or eight hundred dollar headphone. So you can't really compare the two um, in that sense. But this is what I would call a very resolving uh headphone where the treble is very good, very not only resolving, but um, you know, timbre or just realism of the music. Uh, of the treble is really good. The mids are good. Bass is sharp and punchy, right? Now, if we come over here to this AKG, the the treble is very good. It's also very resolving. I could hear almost everything that I could hear on the Focal, without a doubt. And I, I will say maybe I was a little jaded because I would go from the Focal back to this um, and this back to the Focal. And, and maybe because I knew there was a certain cymbal uh, crash in there, a detail on a guitar pluck, uh, guitar string plucking. If I knew that detail was there from here in the Legia, maybe, maybe I kind of said, yeah, I could hear it here too, or thought I could hear it. Um, but definitely, I felt this was very resolving. So I could hear all those details. Timbre or, I know that word gets used a lot. Um, the realism where I, I could get that kind of 3D spatial, you know, where I feel like it's really being played right in front of the music type thing. I, I didn't really get that with these. Um, they sounded really good though. Okay, I don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not, this is not a negative review. I really like these. Uh, definitely gonna keep these. These are, like I said, I think gonna be my daily driver now just because they, they do sound so good and they're so ultra comfortable. Um, so I could sit working at my desk all day and I could, I could listen to these and, and not get tired of them. Um, mid range. Uh, 
I want to say the mid range on these was also very good. It wasn't forward. Uh, it felt like it was in the correct place. The um, the roll off in the mids uh, was really good. I didn't feel like it was you know lagging out into the bass or up into the the treble area. Uh, it felt like right where it's supposed to be. Voices, vocals, female vocals especially were very smooth. Um, I would say these headphones are very smooth for sure. There's no high peaks in here, nothing that hurt my ears. Um, bass was a little, I, I like the bass on these. It's very strong, the bass. Uh, for a $160 set of headphones, the bass was very good. But it did feel a little boomy or a little muddy in some. So some songs, the bass bled off further than it should have. Like I was listening to SOS Band. Um, it's one I've mentioned before that just, and I like that album, not because it's my favorite album or something, the Sands of Time album. It's just that they have a very tight bass in that, in that album. And I know it from listening to it over the years on various stereo systems. So I know how it kind of should sound, I guess. I mean, I wasn't there when they made the song or produced it. So I, I, I can't say that, but I kind of have a feeling of how it should sound. And, and, and on these, I didn't get that tight, punchy bass that I expected. Um, it felt a little boomy. Uh, and with some other songs, like some Amy Winehouse stuff, uh, it sounded the same, you know, a little bit boomy, but but overall, really good. Um, I, I definitely, if someone said, you know what, we're taking all your headphones away and this is all you get, I'd be like, that sucks, <laughs> but I'm okay. This is a really good sounding headphone. I could listen to music on this and not have anything else and, and probably be okay. Um, yeah, I mean, if I want to get all audio file about it, um, then yeah, these aren't these aren't like reference of studio quality headphones. I you know I I saw quite a few reviews, just really going not quite a few, but I saw a few reviews going really crazy on these, which is what interested me. And I don't know if they're shilling these things or or you know they're getting a, some kind of a cut from the company. I I have no idea what their relationship is. Um, but they were one of them was saying that these are like reference quality, and you know these aren't reference quality. These are really nice headphones. Really. Really nice sound quality, very smooth, um, and not fatiguing at all. Like I said earlier, I you know I listened to these all day for several days, and I forgot they were in my head more than a few times. And I got up and pulled the cord out of the amp because of that, <laughs> because I'm I'm kind of that way, I guess. Um, the the mids are very good. I really like the mids, very silky and very present, but not forward not where they're not supposed to be um imaging good not great but okay you know um treble the treble felt like there was a little bit of a veil for me i didn't feel like it was as clear as on the Elegia by any means um there were details i could hear in certain songs cymbal details guitar picking background like there's some amanda martinez stuff where there's multiple guitar acoustic guitars being played Rodrigo, Rodrigo and Gabriela, same thing. And there's why well, one guitar is forward and, and really um, playing the tune, playing the song. There's another guitar in the background. It's like a fill in. And, and you can hear this gentle guitar strumming in the back on some songs. I can hear it clearly with the Elijah. Uh, and it was not, I had to really strain to hear it on this, like really listen closely and, and even turn the volume up. Um, I didn't get any hum or hissing in these. Uh, they were clear that way. I and, and the treble was good. I don't want to like shoot these down and say the treble was not. It, it was very good. It just I didn't feel like it had that high resolution I would look for in reference quality. Um, another thing I look for in let's say a very high quality headphone or you know hi-fi type headphone. Um, when it comes to treble is I want clarity. I want that across the, the spectrum. I want the bass, the mids, I want clarity. I want a very quiet background and only hear what I'm supposed to hear, the vocal or the, the instrumentation. Um, but I did feel like it was just a little bit veiled. Like when I went from the Elegia to this, it didn't feel like there was any, an air in the treble, you know, that sparkly kind of air that you get in certain uh, IEMs and in, in, in uh, um, headphones. I didn't get that with these, you know, and I, I listened to it on quite a bit of different equipment and I, you know, jacked up the treble uh, a little bit just to see, and it, it didn't really make any difference. But that said, I think these are a really good buy. Um, these are now going to become a daily driver for me because 
they're so comfortable. Um, they come with all the accessories I, I could need. Uh, I like the detachable cable. Um, headband's really nice. <clears throat> they feel sturdy and they've got a great sound. You know, I could listen to these all day, which I have without any problem. Okay, well, the gardener's here, so I need to stop because he's going to get real loud in a minute. Uh, anyway, that's enough, I think, for this review. I think they're a good buy. If you're looking for reference quality audio file stuff, this really isn't it. But it is a very nice sounding headphone, and I, and I do really enjoy it. Uh, so thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.